Just three weeks after it was first detected, the Omicron variant of COVID-19 has spread to at least 77 countries. But World Health Organization officials say it's likely already in most countries, spreading fast and shouldn't be underestimated. Omicron is spreading at a rate we have not seen with any previous variant. Surely we have learned by now that we underestimate this virus at our peril. While there is much uncertainty surrounding the newest variant, health experts believe it will soon become the dominant strain of the virus. Even if Omicron does cause less severe disease, the sheer number of cases could once again overwhelm unprepared health systems. I need to be very clear. Vaccines alone will not get any country out of this crisis. The U.S. CDC on Tuesday said the fast-spreading variant was responsible for 13 percent of COVID-19 cases in New Jersey, New York, Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands at the end of last week. And the variant is suspected in a wave of COVID cases at Cornell University in upstate New York that led university officials to close much of the campus Tuesday. Cornell reported more than 700 new cases in just three days and said in a statement that evidence of the Omicron variant was identified in, quote, a significant number of Monday's positive student samples. The university reports 97 percent of its campus population is vaccinated. According to a joint study released Tuesday by researchers at Harvard, MIT and Massachusetts General Hospital, all three U.S. authorized COVID-19 vaccines appear to be significantly less protective against the Omicron variant. But a booster dose likely restores much of that protection.